Hi everybody. I got back from camping and my refrigerator got left open. So this crust that I had in the freezer, it's a pizza crust, started to defrost. So I knew I had to use it up. I had two packages of Bobbly pizza sauce. You can use any pizza sauce. You just want to put that on your pizza, any sauce, any crust, and then put whatever toppings you want on it. So right over here, I've got two hamburger patties from um, when I went to the um, when, when I went to camping. I had uh, Italian sausage, and I also had hamburger patties. There's two more hamburger patties there, and there's the Italian sausage. These are the sweet Italian. I took the casing off, and I put it in a pan with a little bit of oil, and the tomato that you see is from when I was doing the pizza crust over there. So I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna add some black pepper, and this is just Rite Aid brand. Um, I don't have any onions in the house, and a prepper always comes in handy and puts whatever in so i'm going to add some minced onion i'm going to add some garlic powder right there i'm going to add some oregano and i'll probably salt it after but there's the oregano going in i'm going to cook this up and i'm going to get it on the pizza and in my refrigerator I still got, because I hauled it, two bags of this taco cheese right here. This is um, cheddar in um, acidate deco, or acid deco. I don't know how you pronounce that, but anyways, I'm going to use that up because I'm a prepper, and I want, we got back from camping, and I want to use this up, and because the crust was already defrosted in the freezer, I need to use things up right away, so... I still got pork chops for another meal, so you probably see me make that, but I'm going to cook this until the sausage and hamburger is done. I'm going to put it on that pizza after I cover it with the sauce, and I'm going to put this in on top of the pizza. I'm going to bake for 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until done, and I will bring you back when I am done. Okay, I got my sauce already on there, and I found a package of pepperoni, so I want to use them up. This was just that we just got recently, but it's just one package, and I figured a prepper wants to use stuff up, so there's no waste. So what I want to do is I just want to put these on the pizza, and I'm going to add the sausage in the hamburger. And this is all good food, guys. Um, they were only in the um, cooler with ice for two days, and the sausage was completely frozen, and the hamburger patties were bought. So by the time that the hamburger, we had hamburgers one night and then the next day and we're home the second day. So um, they're still good because the ice was still in the, the cooler and the sausage was still partly frozen. So there we go. We've got all them pepperoni on there and we're going to take this to make sure you get all the grease off and just add that to your pizza. I'm just going to put that on there and cover it with cheese. I got my oven on preheating for 400 so we're using stuff up and I still got two burgers to make and uh, three sausages that are Italian so I can throw them in a crock pot with some sauce and have that over pasta and I have um, four pork chops which I'm gonna stuff them I've got some celery in the freezer I also got some celery flakes that I dehydrated and some celery powder so I got two loaves of bread right over here that I need to use. So um, I'm gonna make a bread stuffing and I'm gonna stuff them pork chops and I'm gonna bake them. So there's gonna be the pizza, the sausage. I'm gonna make with sausage onions. I'm gonna put them in a hot dog roll and they'll be like grinders. So I'm gonna do that. Or I'm gonna put them in a crock pot with some sauce with the hamburger meat and make a uh, pasta sauce so that looks pretty good guys it doesn't have to be perfect and you got all that grease right there so we're going to take this cheddar and whatever that word is acid acidio dio i don't know i don't know so we're just going to cover this with cheese and i'll recover it later because this cheese it got wood pulp in it because any shredded cheese has wood pulp so I really didn't want to buy it because I am an herbalist. I'm an all-natural person, but I had a deal on it. 
And they said wood pulp can't hurt you, but you never know. You never know. So I'm just going to cover this. And I know I got a mess. I'll clean it up off camera. Doing this one-handed with an iPhone. So I'm going to throw that in my 400 degree oven for 25 minutes and I'm going to retop with the remaining cheese. So I'll bring you guys back.